They play host to Liverpool at Old Trafford. Uh, Gab, of course, we saw this, uh, this fixture postponed in the past because of protests against the owners. Suggestions that there could be protests once again ahead of the clash on Monday. Could we be in a similar situation that we were last year? Well, look, uh, certainly the fans are no more enamored uh, of the Glazer as, as, they were, as they were last year. And I think adding fuel to the, to the fire here, of course, is, uh, is once again Sir Jim Ratcliffe, who you know, oscillates between being a Chelsea fan and a United fan, sort of popping out, <laughs> uh, one of the richest men in the world, uh, popping out and saying, oh, look, you know, oh, sure, you know, why not? Uh, but we're always open to possibilities. Uh, so that ratchets up the, the, the pressure further. Um, I'm not even going to get into Elon Musk and what he said. Of course, he walked that back. <laughs> but, you know, for three hours, that did have an effect or could have had an effect on the share price. Uh, so, yeah, so now's a great time to, you know, if you're of that bent, to go and, and turn the screws further on the Glazers. The, the whole world is watching you. And obviously, you know, it's, it's been a mess. It's been a cluster mess until now. Um, and I think it's almost obfuscated the fact that Liverpool haven't had the best start to, to the season either. I, I think it should be pretty obvious if, if, if people get on the pitch, um, if the match is postponed, you know, there is a legal concept, which, which is that you as the home team are responsible for the behavior of your fans. Uh, it's called failure to control your fans. And, you know, why we think that the Glazers should be able to control their fans is a whole other issue. But um, I, I think what Klopp said, I think he's right in the sense that I think that's how the Premier League are going to take it. They have obligations. They have obligations to broadcasters. They have obligations in terms of, of security. And uh, so I think this is one to monitor very, very closely. And I think United will be doing everything they can to make sure that, you know, if there is a protest, it's civil, but it can't disrupt the match. Uh, we'll, of course, be reflecting on that game on the next edition of ESPN FC. Well, I'm not here. It's the ESPN picnic tomorrow. Oh, okay. oh what a All treat. Right. Are you going, Craig? I'm working. Good. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.